Okay, so first of all, double click on the chart to open up the formatting bar and then go to properties and select don't move or size with cells and then close the formatting bar. Then click somewhere inside the data and use the keyboard shortcut Control, Shift and L to add in the filter buttons. And then we can filter the dates. So for example, we can filter for just the month of February and OK. And then the chart will show me just the data from February. And because we changed the properties of the chart, it won't move or disappear when we filter the rows. And we can filter the dates in lots of different ways. So for example, we can filter between two different dates. So I'll filter all of the data from the 1st of August to the 30th of September and OK. And then it will show me just the data from those two months. And then if you want to clear the filter, you can select clear filter from date. And that will take you back to the whole of the data set. Then if you have a chart like this, I'll double click on the axes and that opens up the formatting bar and pushes the chart to the side. If I drag the formatting bar out, the chart moves back into the middle. Then I'll resize the formatting bar until I have just the axes minimum and maximum bounds. And even though it is showing numbers here, you can just type in dates. So I'll change the axis minimum to the 1st of May 2021 and change the axis maximum to the 31st of May 2021. And then it's showing me just the data from May. And if you want to go back to the whole of the data set, you just need to select reset. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to quickly change the x axis of a chart if you are using dates, and that is everything.